Are you enjoying resting on my sweater? Clearly. Mm-hmm, I see. Are you enjoying your time on my sweater? Mm hmm? So, I guess I'm not wearing that today. Mm hmm? Do I have to wear another sweater? Mm hmm? Yeah? Okay. Hey, how's it going? Welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Whitney and here on my channel we mostly explore fragrances, but I sometimes like to throw in other content here and there just for fun. Before we get started, I just want to say thank you to everyone that has viewed, liked, commented, shared, and subscribed. So in today's video, I'll be sharing with you guys some winter layering combinations that I came up with. Now, I noticed a theme while I was um, gathering all of my fragrances together and Basically, this video features combinations that generally have a powdery gourmand and fresh vibe to them. So if that's something you're interested in, please stay tuned. So I've got six combinations to share with you guys, so let's get into it. So the first layering combination that I have for you guys is Ariana Grande's Cloud and Bath & Body Works Fireside Flurries. So when I, the logic behind me combining these two is the prominent lavender note. Lavender is not one of my most favorite notes, but the way that it's used in these two fragrances works very well for me and my nose. So when trying these fragrances together, I found that it was like a sweet lavender with a kick. So these are already very cozy fragrances to me on their own, but together I feel like the cozy factor was just amplified. and. When I tested these out on tester strips and came back to it a couple days later, I thought the dry down was quite masculine. And that's mostly because for me, lavender oftentimes smells quite masculine. At least I find that I smell it often in a lot of masculine targeted fragrances. But the point is the super duper dry down of these two together was quite masculine to my nose, but I thought it was kind of sexy. So I liked that, I liked that a lot. So next up, I have a layering combination that I thought would work just based on these two fragrances having a dominant cherry note. And the fragrance combination is Scandal by Night by Jean-Paul Gaultier and Bath & Body Works' Chocolate Covered Cherry. Um, so I was correct that these two would work very well together. They have, similarities on their own in the sense that they're deep cherry heavy fragrances that have a syrupy quality to them so in the case of scandal by night that's that honey honeyed cherry whereas with the chocolate covered cherry it's like i think they're called cherry cordials the the chocolates that have a cherry filling and they have that like the not only the whole cherry in it but also like that cherry syrup as well um and this the chocolate covered cherry actually features a note of sweet liqueur and honestly to my nose even though it's not necessarily listed scandal by night has a kind of boozy quality to it as well so that's why i thought these two would work pretty well together and they did it smells quite nice it was definitely amplified all of the qualities that i just listed and at the when it was like super duper dry down again after like about a couple days smelling the test strip the a, a prominent chocolate note was like the thing that i smelled the most which was kind of surprising because to be honest chocolate covered cherry isn't to me the strongest you know scent from bath and body works but for whatever reason, these two together really not only lasted long, but the chocolate notes seemed to be carried from beginning to end of the journey of this combination. So next up, I have a layering combo that I, I knew would work, right? But I didn't realize it was gonna work this well. And the two perf well, the two fragrances that are in this combination are Lancome's Hypnos and Christmas Cookies by Bath & Body Works. So for me, these are both scents that have a sweet warmth to, warmth to them, but they also smell fresh at the same time, which seems kind of like a contradictory kind of quality for a fragrance to have, but for whatever reason, that's just the vibe I get from both of them. And 
that's what inspired me to try layering them together because even though Christmas cookies is quite gourmand and quality, there is a freshness to it that I thought was quite interesting. It doesn't just smell like straight up cookies to me. And with Hypnos, it's kind of like, it's an interesting one because like I mentioned before, it's sweet and warm, but it does smell quite fresh at the same time. Like I mentioned, I think in a previous video that this was gonna be like my shampoo, like smells like shampoo scent at one point. That's how fresh it smelled to me at one point. So that just tells you it's like warm, sweet, but fresh. I hope that makes sense. So my reaction to these fragrances combined was that it smelled a lot like lemon cream cookies for some reason. And I was not expecting that. Like, I don't know where the citrus note came from, but it was there to my nose, unless it was just that fresh that it just kind of made my brain think citrus. Mm, I don't know. But together, that's what I got. It was very bizarre. <laughs> So not only does it smell like lemon cream cookies to me, it also smells like actual freshly baked cookies. So yes, there's the freshness like you know, that I mentioned before, but there's also like still warm cookie kind of smell that you get with both. That for whatever reason, I don't get that freshly baked cookie smell with Christmas cookies, but for whatever reason together, that's the vibe I was getting. And I'm here for it. it, it, it it's weird, but it works. So the next combination is based on my first impressions when smelling the fragrance mist in this combination. So the two fragrances are En Salon's EDT by Guerlain and Starlit Night by Bath & Body Works. So when I first smelled Starlit Night, and I'll share the video up there for you guys in case you're interested to watch after the video, it smelled to me like in the stars, but berry, but there's like this powdery quality to it that I picked up. And I think that really was because of the iris note, iris note that is listed. And for me, En Salon's EDT is like a powdery berry scent that has depth. So I thought together they would be perfect because you know, there's oud in here and it does really work. And together the vibe I got is a powdery floral, but with interesting touches. So they're both interesting fragrances to me on their own, but together I feel like they work really well. So the way I describe the fragrances in the next combination are the same words, right? But they just mean different things in each fragrance. So the fragrance combination features Narciso Poudre by Narciso Rodriguez and Raspberry Jam Donut by Bath & Body Works. And for me, these are powdery, sweet, and slightly juicy scents and it may be a little bit more obvious where I get the slightly juicy factor in raspberry jam donut you know with that raspberry note but with Narciso Poudre for some reason the opening kind of smells juicy to me and I don't know if it's just because rose sometimes pulls juicy to my nose I don't know I don't know but we're just talking vibes here and so together they just work well and they bring um they bring out qualities that they already have but they just bring it up in different ways by being together so it's a good marriage so when i was taking notes for what i thought when i smelled these two layer together i wrote down warm sweet powdery and pink and that's really the vibe I got when I paired these together. Very pretty, very pretty. So last up for the fragrance combinations I have for you guys features two perfumes. And the first of the two is Girl of Now by Ely Saab. And I guess let me give you some backstory. So this is a, a fragrance that kind of challenges me. When it first, I, when I first became aware of this scent, I was like, oh yeah, I'm gonna love that, I'm gonna love it. And yes, I do like it but it started to get really annoying. And I think it's because for me, this is a scent that does best in very cold weather. And where I'm at, we it, get, it can get pretty cold, but not like, uh, not cold enough where I feel like it's strong enough to cut through the scent, if that makes sense. So it has, 
for me, sometimes it just gets to the point where it's like sickeningly sweet and just headache inducing and like I said, annoying. So even though it kind of looks like I have a bit of a dent, which I don't know how that happened, but uh, I, I did struggle with this for quite a while. And I think actually now that I think about it, I think most of this dent is me wearing it to try to like it again, because I was gonna declutter it, what, declutter it at one point. Um, so a lot of this is probably from like <laughs> repetitive testing and just being like, okay, maybe I'll wear it. And I think I did wear it a lot during um, 20, did I wear it a lot during 2020? Child, I don't know. Point is, clearly I wore it. So even though I'm complaining, I, I did wear this, but I was like, you know what? If I'm gonna keep this in my collection, I'm gonna make this work for me, but how? So I thought of fragrances in my collection that I thought would be able to pair well with it and not only pair well with it, but cut through the sweetness so that I'm not like, uh, so I'm not like giving myself a headache for no reason, you know what I mean? Excuse me. So after some trial and error, um, I found the fragrance that, for me, does exactly what I needed to do. And that fragrance is one that I talk about a lot on this channel, but too bad. That is Signorina Miele by Fragranza, which as you may know by now, is a dupe for Miss Dior Cherie by Dior, the 2005 formulation. So the infamous caramel popcorn note that features the infamous caramel popcorn note. So what works about this, working with this, is that the Signorina Miele is bright and sparkly and again has that freshness to it and it has enough power to cut through Girl of Now. But it's the deep nuttiness in the Girl of Now is still there, but it's just not so overpowering when I've combined these two together. So the way I would describe these two together is sparkly and bright with a warm and sweet nuttiness and I love it. I was so ecstatic because I'm like, okay, this is like literally one of my favorite fragrances ever, the Signorina Miele, which you know is based on one of my actual favorite fragrances ever, which is Miss Dior Cherie 2005. And I was like, okay, so I get to wear one of my faves more to wear with one that I really was excited about. And that's a good thing, so yay. So it hasn't been like cold enough yet for me to really feel like the need to wear this because I would like to wear this out but um I mean nothing's really stopping me right I'm just you know having conversation <laughs> but yeah so that is Girl of Now by Elise Saab combined with Signorina Miele by Fragranza it's good stuff so that's all for me today guys I hope you enjoyed let me know down below what some of your favorite winter layering combinations are I would love to see and actually help me out here so I'm gonna link my entire Bath & Body Works fragrance collection up above and if you check it out and you see some fragrances fragrance mists in there and you have fragrances that you like to combine with like one or two of those let me know what it is because I'm always curious I'm always curious I'm always playing around with my fragrances trying to see what I can concoct I hope concoct is a word. I think it is. So as always, thank you so much for watching. I appreciate you and I will see you later. Bye. Are you enjoying my sweater? You like my sweater? <laughs> She's like, yes, no, stop talking about it. Get over it. Hey, how's it going? Welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Whitney and here on my channel we mostly explore fragrances, but I sometimes like to throw in other content here and there just for fun. <laughs> Almost ran out of breath. Okay, hold on. Hey, how's it going? Welcome or welcome back to my channel. My friend, my friends. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so sweat. Girl, let's just do this before I start getting upset. Okay. And Muffin is behind me. <laughs> this video features combinations that are powdery, fresh, and warm. Am I correct? 
No, I'm not. You know, if I close this, then I don't have to worry about it. And I can see that I'm recording. Perfect. Complete my wonder with a kick. Cozy, masculine, super duper, and I think it smells kind of hot. <laughs> so next up, I have... Gotta make sure I'm recording. So next up, I have a la labor combination. What's that? I immediately said fret. So next up, I have a combination that I thought about when I first unboxed the fragrance misc. Misc? Hmm. En salons. I just did that. En salons. En salons. En salons. Ugh. To me, somehow juicy in the opening with this Narciso. Narciso? With the Narciso Poudre. <laughs> I don't know where I left off, so I'm gonna have to rethink. I'll start again. So, what did I say? Come on now. Last up. Right, Muffy? Are you, how do you keep, she keeps turning different angles. <laughs> She's spinning around, yeah. Right, baby girl. Right, baby gear. So next up, we have a fragrance combination. So next up, I've got a fragrance combination that features two fragrance, two fragrances. So next up, I have a fragrance combination that features two perfumes. Two, I was gonna say two perfumes. Well, that's not even what I wanna say. <laughs> 